Hello friends, today we look into 10 interesting gardening myths, misconceptions and scientific facts like whether we can use grey water or black water for plants, does planting by the moon affect plant growth and yield, the biggest myth on crushed eggshells for plants, talking to your plants to increase growth and yield and many more interesting facts coming up. Before we start, please make sure you have subscribed to our channel along with the bell notification so that you get notified whenever we add another useful episode. Now let's begin with the 10 common gardening myths that have been debunked by scientific research. On number 10, saplings or seedlings need to be supported to protect them. True or false? This is false. Many people recommend you to provide support to these young slender plants due to the risk of wind blowing them and things like that. Unless it's a strong wind, tying a sapling or eng plant to a support stick or any kind of support will actually do more harm than good. Research has shown that trees without support over a period of time will develop thicker trunks, more supportive roots and more resistance to breakages. On number 9. Watering plants on a hot sunny day will magnify the sunlight through the droplets acting as convex lenses and burn the leaves badly true or false? No doubt watering plants early in the morning or late in the evening is great because less water will evaporate during this time. This advice to never water your plants in full sun has been followed by generations of gardeners. But new research has contradicted this belief that watering in direct sunlight can cause leaves to suffer from leaf burn. This theory that water droplets on the leaves can act like mini magnifying lenses focusing the sun rays and then causing the leaf burn has been completely disproved by physicists. You can check out one of my older videos on the causes of this type of leaf burning from a link in the description below. But first let's complete this video. On number 8. Talking to your plants will help them grow. True or false? People who really love plants and gardening will often tell you that talking to the plants or even music has a beneficial impact on their overall health and growth. Despite many different scientific studies on this theory, there is still no conclusive evidence that talking to plants will help them grow. One theory says that since plants take up carbon dioxide and hence talking to the plants releases carbon dioxide, we exhale. So that's it. On number 7. Does spotting mix cause Legionnaire's pneumonia in gardeners? True or false? Do not worry, this is not true. Legionnaire's pneumonia is a severe form of pneumonia that is lung infection most commonly caused by inhaling the bacteria. Though these Legionella bacteria survive in the outdoor soil, it rarely causes infections. But still, prevention is better than cure. Better wear a mask while handling potting mix, especially people with weaker immune systems. On number 6, can we use grey water or black water for our plants or farming? True or false? Firstly, let's look at the difference between grey water and black water. Grey water or sullage water is the waste coming from kitchens, laundries and even bathroom showers. Black water is nothing but sewage water. So can we use this for our plants? Well, this depends on the country you live in. Many countries have banned the use of these untreated waters and also sewage farming. This is because they contain a lot of chemicals, toxins, heavy metals and bacteria which are harmful for the plants and also for the humans consuming the eels produced by such plants. On number 5, can harvested or collected seeds be stored in a refrigerator or freezer? True or false? This is not correct. Most seeds that are stored in a seed bank are first dried up so that the moisture content is reduced to about 10% and then these can be stored for several years. But if you freeze freshly collected seeds, the moisture content in these seeds will form ice crystals within and can destroy the seed viability. On number 4, garlic is the king of companion gardening, true or false? It's a fact. Garlic deters pests including fungus gnats, moths, spider mites, beetles and even ants. The pungent flavor of garlic is due to sulfur compounds which are natural fungicides. So companion gardening with garlic planting is certainly beneficial to your garden. On number 3. Does planting by the moon affect plant growth and yield? True or false? 
The idea that the moon affects the plant growth is an old one that is believed by many people. This is a myth. No study has proven the effect of moon on plant growth and the only plants that use moonlight for photosynthesis are certain types of phytoplanktons which are not normally found in gardens. On number 2. Crumpled eggshells added to the soil is a good source of calcium. True or false? This is false. Eggshells take many many years to decompose and release that calcium into the soil and make them available for uptake by the plants. Many studies have proven this and have recovered the intact shells after many years of burying them into the soil. However, finely powdered eggshells might help, but again as a slow release source of calcium. On number 1. Growing fruit trees in containers is not possible due to limited space. This is not true. You can grow them, but you need a little larger containers or fabric bags like uh, more than 18 or 24 inch. You can watch a detailed episode on the top 10 terrace gardening myths and facts from an end screen link circled right here. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!